Hi traders, I'm doing this scan at quarter past one UK time, which is uh, quarter past eight US time. So we've got data in 15 minutes for UK US retail sales. So that could, if depending on what the data is, yeah, affect the markets either way. But you can see on this Nasdaq, we've come down to have just breached the 200 EMA on the daily. Uh, held. At the moment, we're holding on to the sort of levels that we saw in early February, but you know a very nasty breakdown here and close underneath this uh, fib level there on the weekly. Let me just remind myself where I've got that fib level from. Okay, so that's a little. Uh, this is the 0709 fib level. So got very very extended up there. And hence the reason why we, once we broke that trend line, we came down pretty fast. Um, I, I think we are probably due a bounce. We're coming off of the daily 200, so I think we may get a bounce to about this 335 area here. At which point I would want to uh, get short again. So if I look at the tech stocks, I'm interested in Rambus. If I can just find it. Um, I'm interested in Rambus from a point of view that it's got real relative strength. And all this selling in the NASDAQ, this one's held up really well. So I'm interested in for this to see if we can get some sort of late drop off to, to get a good price. So I would like, I'd be interested to see if this 200, if this does start to sell off, and we are high RSI here. It's had relative strength so far, but if we do see any significant pullback to this 1040 area here, I would consider buying that, seeing as we've held up so well. But equally, if we put getting to reverse here, then I would want to sell it from these highs. And at the moment, we've got that resistance, we've got um, you know, that kind of pattern underneath us so we're supporting on so potentially in a wedge if we creep back into this area here uh, 1140 and start to sell then I'd, I'd get interested but we have held I'm wary of it because it, it's held up so well okay what I'm looking for short is DRIV digital river uh, if you look at it on the weekly fibs, the pullback area is about 16.70. So any pullback to that area there is a potential for another leg down. And we could easily come all the way down to 14.50 area. If you look at all the selling, every time all the highs got sold in this one. In July last year we sold off. In October we, we had some selling. In January this year we obviously had some selling and likewise uh, we're making lower lows and lower highs in this one digital river so I would wait patiently to see if the Nasdaq does get some sort of bounce and then I would want to get short of that one BRCM Broadcom uh, nasty sell off a couple of days of last week couldn't get through 31 so they dropped it uh, I would like, if we get a bounce in this, might be worth waiting to see if we can get right up there at 30 30. Uh, we may, I mean, the obvious place to get short is up there at 29.85 area there. So I, I, I could well, that's probably too aggressive and a short entry, very in mind the sort of reaction we've had to 32. Uh, let's see what you think. And the other one is the chipmaker AM. D. That's so it's A map. It's not what I wanted. Where is it? Yeah, AMD. Here we are. Uh, lot of support at 3.44. So this is a lot of resistance at 3.75 now. Keep an eye on it. We need. I I think we need a a, a better price to get short on this one. So. Um, it's DRIV and BRCM I'm interested at the moment. eBay, I had a question about eBay. And forget this nasty little bar down here, that's where um, IG lets you down. 
because of the 24 hour trading. Um, I don't like eBay, it's got a, a lot of support there. Weekly 50 EMA. Um, it's just not a great chart. I mean, we winched our way up here in 2012 and early 13. Sold, 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 sold. Got a bit of a squeeze here. Nice funnel type pattern, and we pushed up. And then we just pull back again. I, I, I just think that's really messy and, uh, and it's not for me. Alright, uh, otherwise, yeah, market's looking a bit optimistic for this core price, uh, retail sales, sh should say. We're just pulling back into areas that are major resistance. So one fi anything between 150 and 200 on this Dow, on this weekly chart, is a potential area for that to sell. It's a it's, being a short week. We could just get a lot of sideways action, but um, there was massive support down there at 16,000. It's a big number, it's a lot of history down there. So not surprising to see that we are bouncing, but we are bouncing already into a resistance area. Okay, I would do a much more thorough scan in the Traders Round table tonight. So if you're able to join me at seven o'clock UK time, eight o'clock European time, and 2 p.m. Eastern Time, then you'll be very welcome. All right, uh, have a good day, happy trading, and look forward to seeing you.